Hi, problem solvers. Welcome to your session three and four. Um, in the video, it says this page is under construction. It won't be. I'll be taking that off by the time I post this video. So this is your how-to video for your lessons this week. So first of all, I wanted to congratulate you on the lovely work you've been doing on your Uspace blog. I can see a lot of thinking and a lot of work is going in. Keep that up, guys. That is absolutely awesome. And do interact with each other as well, as much as you can. Right, so you've got the usual rundown of how to set up your Uspace blog and how to find activities and links. I do leave that in there for every week uh, because we have new children coming in, going out, and we don't want anyone to feel lost, basically. All right, so what's happening? Now, this sign is the sign of Kaplan's uh, thinking tools. It's patterns, and we are looking at patterns, obviously. Now, maths has a lot to do with patterns. So we're looking at mathematics puzzles, especially those related to geometry. Activity one is a look, read, and watch, and think deeply and understand, okay? So all of these things you have to do. You do not need a blog post for this. We're looking at ciphers or codes that use geometric shapes instead of letters to write a message. And this kind of cipher is called a pig pen cipher. Would you believe it? A pig pen. Um, have a little think about why you think it's called a pig pen cipher. We will actually chat about it when we meet in class. So here is the code. This is what it looks like. Here is a video where somebody is actually writing the code and showing you how to create a pig pen code, the code itself. Okay, how to write it down for yourself. The person does go rather fast. Um, you can slow the speed down of the video if you want to, or you can always go back to the picture to see what the code looks like. I personally love ciphers and codes, find them fascinating. So the pig pen one is, um, I used to love the Polybius one. William, if you remember the Polybius we learned last term. Um, but the pig pen has probably one of, become one of my personal favorites. So um, have a look at that. Now, activity two, we are continuing with the patterns. This time, you create a blog post, and here is a pig pen cipher that uh, this is a coded message. The question is, what do geometry teachers like to eat? I bet it's going to be one of those funny answers. But the answer is given to you as a cipher, pig pen cipher. So you just decode that and write down in words what they like to eat. Uh, my apologies for the slightly uh, darkened image. I took a photo from a book, and that's what you see over there is my um, phone camera shadow. I did it at evening, so I couldn't take the shadow away, but you can see it anyway. Awesome. So enjoy doing that. Activity three, create a blog post with two big pen cipher sentences or messages for a buddy to solve. This is buddy work. So you're going to create a blog post. There'll be two coded messages using big pen cipher. Now, don't make the messages too long. Okay. Maximum should be a one long sentence, not sentence after sentence, do separate, two separate messages. You can make them funny. You can have famous quotes by famous people. Quotes from Einstein would be great. Um, any mathematician, anything, okay? And then, um, so this is something your buddy is going to solve. If you want, you can um, tag in a buddy, write the name of the buddy and say, hey, this is for you to solve or any of my buddies to solve. It'll be so much fun. And I will try to solve it too, of course, because I'm your buddies on Uspace, aren't I? All right. Activity four, it's a revision activity, especially because um, we have new people in our class, so it's a revision one. Have a read of how geometry problems can be solved. So Nate and um, Hannah, just read through this. These are just some of the ideas, some of the ways a geometry problem uh, shape puzzle can be solved. There are more ways, of course. You know, we can always come up with new ways, but look at number 10, that's the most important. You must have a lot of fun. Okay. Activity five, create one blog post and show answers to the three shape puzzles below. So there are three puzzles, puzzle one, puzzle two, puzzle three. You create one blog post and you write down the answer to each puzzle. Now, if you are um, printing it out and cutting it out, or if you are drawing the shape on paper and cutting it out, try to take photos of what you're doing so that when you're explaining, you can annotate, you can draw arrows and show this is what I did, then this is what I did then. Because with photos, it is easier to understand what you're doing rather than you just trying to explain, I turned it this way, I turned it that way. If with the explanation there is a photo, it is better to understand what exactly you did, right? So here are three puzzles. Um, 
So we'll talk about them in class as well. That is your activity five. Activity six, language of the discipline. We are looking at the concept of pi, which again is not new for probably any of you, but um, this math antics video does explain the concept of pi in a really, really fun way. And for us to remember that concept is useful because circles um, come in a lot of puzzles. We use circles and um, you know the circumference, the diameter, the radius, and the ratio between them all the time. So it's good to jog our brains about that one. So no blog post, listen, watch, learn. Then activity seven, we're looking at big ideas and unanswered questions. So you create a blog post, you write down one big idea and two unanswered questions after watching this video. Okay, okay, about pi or anything that occurs to you related to geometry and what this teacher has to say. Cool. Last activity, fellas. Activity eight is about details. This is you finding a pi or of a circle of your choice. Take a photo of you doing this activity or draw the plate. Now they're saying find the circumference of a plate. If you're using a plate that mom has in the kitchen, you are most welcome to, just don't break it. Um, it can be a plastic plate, it can be big, it can be small, it can have patterns on it, doesn't matter. But if you're using a paper plate, if mom and dad can get you a paper plate, you'll be able to cut it if you want to or it won't matter if it gets um, dropped or something. The example shows a paper plate with finding pi for yourself. So you draw a circle, you can put the plate down and draw a circle, or you can use a compass to make as big a circle you can. You can have a clock trace around it, that's possible as well. So see how you choose a circle, and then you do the measurements to find the pi, okay? You follow the steps, and then upload your photo as a blog post, or several photos, depending on the steps you took. And that's it, guys. That's eight activities. Take your time, engage with each of the activities, and please do go into each other's blog posts and leave comments. Okay, I'm looking forward to more of your work. Really enjoy your work and really enjoy the engagement that you're showing. So keep that up. That is awesome work. And I am going to see you guys in class.